Here at Hungerberg Produce, our main crop is carrots. This is the carrot facility that we are in. We have gone from growing 600 acres of carrots 14 years ago to 1,500 acres of carrots. That only sounds like 900 more acres, but you gotta remember we're planting a million and a half carrots per acre. So that ends up being a lot of carrots come running through here and they are shipped throughout the United States faster and there's more demand for them all the time with more people all the time. First off, carrots are really hard to grow. You talk to any person that tried to grow them in their garden and they say, I can never get carrots to grow in the garden. If a carrot isn't dead straight and perfect, it goes to the cattle feed. Planting a straight row is as critical as anything we do. You can't be off left or right when you're making your rows. It's imperative with the cost of carrot seed being upwards of $1,000 an acre. Precision is critical to what you're trying to do. We go all the way back to the brown boxes. It was just an A, B line, there was nothing else. And we've slowly started to increase that. The Autopath came on this last year so that the quality of the carrot is much better. The sprayer is not running over it. The lines are all the same. Everybody understands where to be in the field with each tractor. Isabel has, has been a joy to work with. She always takes my phone call. There's a problem, she works at it. They have Autopath running on their tillage equipment and that will create the lines and remember you know, where that machine was in the field. After that, we run another Autopath line with our better. After that, we're planting. After that, we're using the Autopath line for the sprayer. All four need to work in order to make the quality of the carrot good, not run over the carrot, and ready to sell to the stores. When I first started meeting with them, they had very little information in the operation center. They had all of their field maps in a book. All the maps are printed out in this quite literally um, like textbook. As we start to collect more and more data that can really just drive data decision making, we can take that data and look at it, analyze it and see what went well this year and what changes and adjustments need to be made for next year. We cannot have any drips on all the tractors. Oil wise, there can't be a problem. The carrot harvesters use John Deere engines and when one of them has a, has a problem, the John Deere techs are there immediately to come out right quick and, and keep the harvesters going in the field. Having the J.D. Lean capabilities, he can kind of see when people are moving around in the field, how fast things are going. The 21st century helps us keep things moving constantly. We can't get behind in the, in the vegetable business. The nice thing about organic carrots, the demand is always going to be there. You need a big quantity of it, and it's hard to grow a big quantity without being able to use sprayers and being able to use regular chemicals. For the first five years, we had people laying on beds, being pulled behind tractors, pulling weeds 20 hours a day, paying 40, 50 people trying to pull weeds out of all these carrots. Last year, we added a carbon robotic laser. The machine itself is pretty cool. It's taking pictures and it can decipher between what a carrot looks like in a very early stage and what a weed looks like. It also can look within a quarter inch underground and find that weed that is not coming up yet and burn it. When you walk it through a field, you can see the clouds of smoke around it. You can see the lights if it's dark. Their practice is unique, so they get to use unique types of equipment to better their operation. I have talked about the autonomous tractor to my uncle and my dad and they they think I'm crazy, but I would love to have an autonomous thing on the carbon robotics because we have guys that are running 24 hours a day at 0.2 to 1 mile an hour. It is a slow, agonizing job, but you have to do it. So uh, something autonomously on something like that would be incredible. The whole thing of, of watching the carrots come in one end and then out the other end within you know 15 minutes, that carrot's in the bag, in the cooler, and then sometimes it's on a truck to King Supers that night. And that's been a really rewarding process for me, even as his precision ag consultant, that what I'm helping with is having a huge impact on the population. America had better be really careful. They're not giving agriculture enough credit for feeding them. So many people think, oh, I don't know why we worry about farmers. I just go to the store and buy my food. You know, your food was raised and put together either with a rancher or a farmer. We really need to be aware of how important agriculture is. There feels to be a responsibility to past relatives, to your father, to your uncle, who have given lots to you. Hungenberg Produce will go on for many, many, many years. That sixth generation is coming on strong. And Jared's little kindergartner is saying, Dad, I don't need to have you in the tractor anymore. I can drive this quite nicely. We're talking about a $400,000 machine, and he's already got it figured out. We're in good shape. We're going to be going on for a long time. And it, there, there is a responsibility to try and take care of the buildings, the farm, manage everything so that future generations will be happy with you as well.